My name is Monica, and I'm a science educator. Join me as we take a close look at research expeditions to track blue whales and better understand this incredible ocean species. The biggest animal to ever live on this planet is the blue whale. That's right, the biggest animal ever even bigger than the biggest dinosaurs. Most blue whales grow to 80 feet long, and the record is over 100 feet. That's over three school buses long, longer than the walk from one basket to the other on a basketball court, longer than 20 kids lying end to end. Keeping that big blue whale body moving takes a lot of power, Huge muscles on the whale's back drive an enormous tail called the fluke. It's 20 feet wide. Imagine how well you could swim if you had a tail as big as two elephants. And the whale's heart is huge too. The size of a piano. Your heart is about the size of your fist. The blue whale's amazing strength and size allow for some intense ocean travel. In a single year, these whales can swim thousands of miles looking for food and mates. Because blue whales swim so far in the open ocean, it's really hard for scientists to find and study them. Come to think of it, how do scientists even know how big blue whales are? It's not like they can go out with a measuring tape. Hasidi Arcos is a biologist who uses some pretty cool technology to measure her whales. She uses a camera attached to a drone. That looks so cool! At least, once you get the hang of it. We had an idea of wanting to work with drones and with a blue whale, but I was very bad. I was very bad, the drone would go to one side, the other side would go to the other. I couldn't make circles, I couldn't turn it. Then, in the first season, I was the one who was in charge of the drone. Entonces empecé a ver unos videos en YouTube para más o menos tener una idea de cómo funcionaba, cómo era el cuidado del dron. La vista que te ofrece el poder verlas con el dron es increíble. Ves la cabeza enorme que tiene, dónde están los ojos, todas las manchas que tiene, lo que hace con su cuerpo, cómo se mueve, cómo nada. Es increíble. Es it's maravillous. But it's more than just great views Hasibi is seeking. By taking a picture from about 100 feet above the whale, she can calculate how long it is. Hasibi can even use the photos to figure out how much blubber they have. That's a layer of fat used to keep the blue whale warm. Lo que buscamos es que la ballena se encuentre totalmente extendida y se pueda ver con claridad el ancho del cuerpo para poder tomar bien sus medidas. By taking these close observations and measurements year after year, Hasibi can gather lots of information about their size, whether they're healthy, and even their age. She tells the whales apart by the spots on their backs and the shape of their dorsal fins. No two whales are alike. That's just like our fingerprints, which are as unique as we are. Have you compared your fingerprints to your friends? Studying big blue whales is a pretty exciting job, but you don't need to sail the oceans to observe how animals are specialized for their environments. Some examples are closer to home. Take a look at hummingbirds, they're smaller and lighter compared to other birds, which helps them move quickly in the air and hover at flowers. They can even fly backwards. Plants are great to observe too. If you look closely and compare a maple leaf to an oak leaf, you can spot the differences in their shape and structure. Observing nature big and small, from blue whales to maple leaves, help scientists make new discoveries about species and their environments. These observations take time and hard work, but with practice and patience, sometimes lots of patience, 
plus the right tools, it's possible for anyone to become an expert observer. Think about what tools you can use. How can you collect information on animals or plants you might see every day? A ruler is a great way to measure the size of some objects. And a magnifying glass can help you see small things, like insects or delicate veins in a tree leaf. So get out there and start checking out the animals and plants around you. Make sure to write down your observations too. And if you have a camera, start taking photos. Just like a Hasibi does, you can use your photos to see animals in a whole new way. Whoops, how did that get in there? <laughs>